Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me over the phone from First Graphene is Executive Director Peter Yude. Hello, Peter. Welcome back. Hello, Rachel. To your announcement this week regarding the first commercial production for your Henderson Graphene facility, can you tell us more about this? Well, the first production is the culmination of a lot of hard work since the Department of Environment and Regulation gave us the works approval in August last year, and we're actually able to commence construction. Through careful planning and management, we've been able to construct and commission this facility for less than the $1 million we had originally budgeted. And we have also installed our own laboratory for QA testing. This amount is considerably less than most other graphene hopefuls are quoting as their capital expenditure. The plant capacity as it stands and is operating on a single shift basis could produce approximately 25 tonnes of graphene per annum. The commissioning of a, a second production cell and a move to 24-7 production would see that capacity lift to approximately 100 tonnes per annum. And I'd venture to suggest that this makes it the largest capacity plant in Australia, if not the world. Now, this is just the beginning for you, but can you give the audience a sense of volumes and value of products that you expect to ship this year? Well, as your listeners would be aware, graphene is an extraordinary material. And the Graphene Council has noted that there's been three major impediments to its growth in commerce. And these have been that there be adequate volumes available for um, industry, that the supply be of a consistent quality and be commercially suitable in pricing. The new facility from FGR overcomes all of those three issues. We've created three specific product streams for various applications and with different price points. It's important that graphene is, is fit for the purpose and not one size will fit all applications. For example, the product used in improving cement will be of a different specification to the product which is required for our fire retardant development. We're working with several customers and in each case the requirements are ever so slightly different. And this is why our own laboratory and development facility is, is so important. Now to sales. The first sale came when FGR attended the ID TechX conference in California last year. What is their end use for the graphene? The company that bought that was trialling that product in a cement coating that they make in the United States. Recently, we've received inquiries from a number of companies in Australia in the fields of building and construction materials, pipeline construction, coatings companies, polymer businesses and marine services. Over the next few weeks, several of them will be visiting the plant to review our capabilities and we'll be working with them to ensure our products meet their specific requirements. And can you tell us about your sales pipeline? Sure. We're working very closely with Traxxas with a view to developing market mechanisms and securing long-term offtake agreements into leading global companies and, and industries. Andy Goodwin is interfacing with customers in the UK and again, we are preparing to provide material to meet their specification. Like any new materials, such as plastics in the 1960s or lasers in the early 2000s, there needs to be take-up and the market penetration. Like those products, we believe that once take-up starts, it will be an avalanche. And this is supported by the Graphene Council, which projects demand growing at 60% year on year. Last question, Peter. With the facility up and running, what can investors look out for in terms of news flow over the next quarter? Well, as our work in developing the sales stream, we've also got some exciting developments happening at the University of Adelaide and Flinders University. Um, news flow from these during the next quarter is looking to be both frequent and exciting. And of course, at Swinburne University of Technology, we're making steady progress on the development of our supercapacitor. So we're looking forward to and working on a busy and exciting June quarter. Thank you to you. Congratulations on the significant milestone. Thanks for the update. My pleasure, Rachel. Thank you.